Anyways, Michael, I love these random tangents you go on anytime we're doing one of these uh one of these recordings. <laughs> I hope I hope so. I, I edit these and I feel obnoxious a lot of the time, so I apologize if I'm ever talking too much. Because I know I do. You're good. I know I could learn to shut up here and there. No, you know what's really funny is that if anybody looks me up now, they're probably going to be like, he had a kid. Oh. <laughs> that guy had a kid? H how'd that happen? Because you're because awesome. Because a loser. Because you're fucking beautiful and awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> I made Chris blush. Uh... No, I love I love this this series. I I love I love doing this series though. This has been fun. I like that we I like that we've gone on. I like that we went through it, but I know that it's it's still a little too early to say that because technically I don't know if we'll actually finish or not. I think we will. I have yeah. no doubt that we will. You're but technically, technically we don't get to know that until after it's done. I mean, I, I could die tonight. Yeah, I could actually. Was that a threat? <laughs> oh my god! Was that a threat? <laughs> well, it's the second. It's the second reference to Stort dying tonight in this recording. God damn it, Michael! Michael's I didn't know you hated me that much. Michael's Michael's not actually at his brother. She's waiting outside your house with a knife. Jesus I, I, Christ! Sweet, I I kill. Actually, it's the third reference because last episode ended with me murdering Stort. Remember that? We did a fake out. Uh, I'm just gonna. Unless say... we're splitting in this. Unless we're splitting this into three parts, we might be doing that. Perhaps. I'm just going to say this uh, off off topic. Persona 5 Strikers, Yatagarasu. Off topic of your inevitable death. Yes. Uh, this Persona, Yatagarasu, is really fucking good. He's <laughs> really fucking Madison. good in Strikers. Madison. In fact, you know what? He's going to be the thumbnail of this episode. The bird? Yep, Yatagarasu. Okay. Well, well I, I, it depends because it might have to be Teddy, depending on where the cutoff is. I'm not. I'm not gonna pick that over to fucking Shadow Teddy. <laughs> then he'll be the next one. How about that? Okay, the next, the next one. Then. It depends on how these are timed out. I never know when we're recording. I know after. Look, it's Pazuzu, guys. He's got a hairy crotch. Isn't that medicine? <clears throat> Thank you, I needed to see that. Yep. You wanna, okay, you wanna sit with me, Madison, or are you gonna be pissed at me for doing this? Okay, but can you, like, summon the beast monster? Uh, yeah! I don't... I don't... <laughs> okay, Michael. I don't think I can get him until, like, the level 70s, or maybe he's a, a, spe a, a special one. I know in Persona 5 Strikers, he's a special one, because you... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming oh, they realized, yeah, that... let's not have a bunch of Maras... <laughs> Just walking right. around. <laughs> that would have been beautiful. Uh, you know, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was super disappointed with Odin's design in Persona Five. Yeah, it's a. Uh, he looks like a fucking wimp. Well, like in Persona, I think not Persona. Shin Megami Tensei, like what four was it? Apocalypse. Yeah, the one on the DS. He looked dope. So I'm like, oh, that's gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah, and he, I think he was for the 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 teaser trailer or the initial trailer for five or Shimigami Tensei five. <laughs> he was the, the the spotlight Odin was. Yeah. Uh... I, I can't wait for five. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. I I don't think it's gonna come out this year, even though it says World oh, Ride like World Ride release this year, because I I feel like Atlas has so much on their plate right now. I mean, then again, I don't know what it's like to work at Atlas, so... I mean, I feel like they probably could release it this year. But if they do, we're probably going to get, like, a Persona thing. I don't think we've ever gotten something like that for, uh, SMT. We haven't, but I would not be surprised. I mean, originally, oh, no. uh, SMT4 Apocalypse was just going to be a DLC no, for stop 4. It, stop it, man. But then, like, Apocalypse got so huge, it became its own thing. So maybe it might just... They might just do, like, a, a sequel to 5. SMT5. You know, a game that I really need to play is... I need to play the digital double games. I haven't played those. I... 
I'm looking at them right now in my collection, and I heard they were really good. You have you played so you can... uh, you played Devil Survivor? Yeah. Oh hell yeah, yeah. Um, I recently beat I the an... first one this year. Oh an... my god. I was an idiot. Before I moved, I sold both games and oh. I sold everything with them, like including the CDs and stuff that came with them. I'm so sorry. And I sold them. And I tried to buy. I, we were looking at trying to buy them back, and that shit ain't happening. I'm so sorry, Chris. Hey, buddy. Yeah. How's Milo doing? He's yeah. fine. He's right here. Hey, Milo. Decided to walk Milo, over and say hi. Milo can't hear us, right? Oh, he, he absolutely on. cannot. <laughs> That's probably for the best. No, it is. <laughs> well, tell, tell, tell Milo that I said hi. Michael says hi. I'm not gonna say hi back. What the hell, Milo? All right. Oh, this is Persona, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time in this game. That's my mic. Please don't knock it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the ed the video I'm editing right now, which is like the high, the heavily edited Sonic Adventure Part Two video, Milo is pretty like. Are you okay with that, by the way, Chris? Milo appearing so frequently? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Milo has a lot to add to the conversation in part two. I th so so you do, you said Sonic Adventure 2. When do we do that shit? Oh, no, no, Adventure. Um, so here's oh. the thing. I upload all the episodes in their entirety to the Duck Brigade, and then on my Movie Mackle channel, I'm editing them into, like, highlight reels. So, like, part one already came out. You're in part one, by the way, Chris, if you wanted to check that out. I've seen it. Uh, okay, and part two is me, you, uh, well, at, at first it's just me, you, and Stuart, but Austin joins halfway through, and Milo, ha Milo speaks up a lot in that one, and I just use is a that, lot of those moments. Is that the funny. one that I missed? The car is that the carbohydrates? Is that the shit? Yeah, it's carbohydrates, but you were only absent for, like, the last five minutes of that. You're, the, you're, you're the only, in that entire eight-episode series in the Duck Brigade, you're the only one aside from me in every episode. I tried. I really tried. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. That was such a fun little... That was, that was like the first one, too. That, we, I feel like it's a, it's the first game in series that we did on the channel. We need to do something. Aside from the guild too. shit. Uh, I think Stuart's going to play that one. Okay, still, Stuart, we need to do so, it. What are we doing? I, maybe after Persona 4. Well, you wanted to do Sonic Adventure 2 for the channel, right, Stuart? Oh, yeah. So probably like after Persona Four, store like because that like it'll be funny because we're, we're gonna go from a game that took like fucking fifty nights to beat to a game that probably will take two or three nights to beat. I do not care what I'm. But it'll doing be fun. I am out of town. You better fucking tell me when you're doing Sonic Adventure Two. I will. I will. I'll, I'll let you know for all the Sonics. Okay. Hell, I will even I... be out of town. I'll find a way. <laughs> oh, that's Unleashed shit. makes me ear. Honest to God, Unle I think doing Unleashed for the channel was a big mistake. I, I, I like the conversations we got, so it's no biggie, but the gameplay is unwatchable in that series. And I think it's because I needed to experience the game before doing a recording on it. I think from now on, that's how I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to blindly play games in the Brigade anymore. I, the first time I play a game, I always spend way too much tra time trying to figure things out. Uh, so we still so doing there Sonic Unleashed? I'm gonna finish it. I started it. I plan on finishing it, but like, I don't enjoy doing Sonic Unleashed. Um, uh, and it's I, the here. game. Once I figured out what to do, the game was a lot more fun. I don't hate Sonic Unleashed, but I do not like doing that series because it's just I, like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I will be honest with you. You might not like Unleashed at the end of the day. So I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, you would. You won't. The the Werehog stages, once I figured out what I like the good techniques during the like fucking fight and I I I, I actually not, do I actually do not mind the Werehog stuff now. It's not I, good, but it's not unsufferable. I do not like spoiling games, but Michael, I swear to god, Eggman Land will piss you off. <laughs> You'll probably Eggman beat it in like an hour and a half, honestly. You off. Maybe two hours if you're lucky. Is it a is it a Werehog stage? It's very long. It, it's a mixture. It's a bullshit. It's it's just bullshit. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not I'm not giving up on Unleashed. I'm not but, saying um, give up. 
I'm not saying give up. I'm just saying. But we might we might be playing Unleashed on and off for like the next two years because I don't have fun. I have fun talking to you guys. I don't have fun playing the game. When I'm in a level, I'm enjoying it. When I'm in a level, I am enjoying the game. The Sonic levels are fun, and the Werehog levels are... I can tolerate them. Now, now that I know what to do, I can tolerate them. But man, it's just like... I, most of the time, if you watch that Let's Play, most of the time in our most recent session, which I have not uploaded yet, but I will soon. I, I, was, I was like a few weeks ago, but I, and I haven't even like... It's boring to edit that series because the footage sucks so much. It's just me wandering through the town. I like the conversations. I think there's funny moments, but it never comes from the gameplay. Hey, for, forgive me. Um, it's around Milo's dinner time. Okay. And my computer is stationed in the uh, kitchen slash dining room, so you will definitely hear him. <laughs> no problem. Um, no problem at all. Oh, dude, it's Thought Patrol. Eh. Now like Chris how... is really going to get canceled on Twitter. Oh, no. I like how as soon as, as these two came on screen, just like evil music happened. <laughs> I know, I know I heard that. Tess! Tess! I, the bad thing is, I know where you're at. I've played this game too much. <laughs> you know where Stort lives, so cr crap, Chris is coming for you too, Stort. One left, I'm sorry. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Hey, Stort. Yeah? Uh, do you like jokes where the YouTuber, uh, um, they do this where they, like, uh, freeze and they stutter on their words? Because it's funny when Justin Rowland does it, they'll go like, uh, so, uh, 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 uh. Do you find that funny? Yeah, I, I love it. It's fucking amazing, dude. And so, today we're, uh, we're gonna do this. They do shit like that. Continue. Uh, do you like it when people like make fun of the generic YouTuber and truly like, hey guys, but they're doing it ironically as a joke so that so it's not annoying when they do it? I like how you just stood up and told them to shut up and they said, you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi's Yo, yeah, about to beat somebody up with a fucking chair. Oh my god. <laughs> Ryuji comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Ryuji. What? Yeah, Ryuji comes out of nowhere and hits him with the chair. From five, he comes from yeah. the future. Yeah. So about Kanji? No, no. I said what I said. Okay. I wanted to make no sense. Oh. Ryuji would be like a middle schooler in in, in this Wouldn't game. He? Yeah, he would be. It's really that makes it even weirder. <laughs> it's really weird because like in it, when Persona Five takes place, these people are like five years older. I wasn't thinking about that at the time. <laughs> I was thinking about like our skull, like the guy skull, you know, out of nowhere from like the metaverse. <laughs> Just that's all good. What are you gonna uh, I know how it is. Maybe See, I, think, you were... I think I said I said chair. I should have said like a pipe or something. That would have made more sense. Or a fucking baseball bat. Yeah, <laughs> like that would have made more sense. Because Kanji uses an actual chair in this game. Which I completely <laughs> <laughs> and then Persona 4 Arena, he uses a chair as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, we're pretty high up with Yasuke now. It's like 7 now, right? Yeah. Yo, dude, maybe you guys could marry him. Yeah, we could fuck him. Yeah, even <laughs> though I'm, like, I'm no longer going to use him, I still want to just finish up his crap. But I think it's good to include him as part of the story still. Yeah. I'll go talk to Dad. I mean, you kind of need to for the conclusion. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> Hello. What if there was a Persona game where like, it was all channel awesome people that joined you? So it's like Nostalgia that... Critic, Spoonie, Linkara. That could probably be a thing. Somebody can make that. <laughs> all their inner... <laughs> they all have the same inner demon. All their personas look the same. It's all just Doug. <laughs> Doug is their problem. Oh my god. <laughs> Including Doug. Doug is his own worst enemy. <laughs> god, why do I keep doing that? Every persona is just a different character that Doug has played. 
Like, one's Nostalgia Critic, one is the Bum Review, is one of them's Ask That Guy. <laughs> one of them's Double Boner. I know too many of these character Nostalgia Critic characters. One of them is him singing songs from Pink Floyd The Wall. Yeah, that's horrible. horrible that's like the final out. boss. <laughs> And then the game just ends with you all dying. There's no way to beat that. No, the game ends with Doug Walker being like, you're a fictional character. I made you up. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's just, it's just, they just play the footage from the Bolton League. <laughs> but like, the main character <laughs> photoshopped over. Uh, <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? I keep, I keep clicking Y to, to look at my personas. I like that demon with the fire spoon. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to, uh, be a janitor today, but it's Monday and I need to go on Wednesdays. So fuck me, you know. Fuck Stuart. I guess I'll go uh, increase at uh, Dojima's. At Madison and me are real bros because like Roland hasn't hasn't really showed up for a minute. Roland I haven't seen since I fed him. Madison's just been chilling with me on this couch for the most of this recording. Fist bump, Madison. I like how every she's time I go analyzing. Into... I like how every time I she's go into an... the velvet room, they're just like, "What the fuck do you want?" It's like, God damn it! It's you again. You're not the only. Con... You're not the only high school student we speak to, you know. That is true. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. <laughs> So you and Dojima have some shit to clear up, um, clearly. It's literally a fist fight. <laughs> it's still not, about the pick. It has nothing not, to do with the false arrest. It's still about the pickled radishes. Not, not just not just a fist fight, a drunken fist fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gives you like eight shots before the fight starts. He's just he's just naturally drunk. I wasn't talking about you. Can I help? You're looking up what to answer, Stuart. Because yeah. you can't answer it for yourself. Yeah, no, you just gotta do what the system tells you to do, man. Mm -hmm. You can't be, you can't be yourself, man. You're fucking letting the government tell you what to do, man. Why are you handing me garbage like this? No, I am not, no, that's not happening. I love you, but that's not happening. What are you talking about? I will, I will send you divorce papers, it's not happening. <laughs> what? What's going on? Stuart, um... Uh, me and your mom are getting a divorce. My mom? Bud. My own mother? <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, Chris no. doesn't know. We could talk about this off screen. <laughs> I, I, when I, when I said that I was not making a joke about that, by the way, Stuart. <laughs> what? About that. Because <laughs> I said good. No, I said oh, good. Monica. Dad. Yeah, I'm I said good too. Get the fuck back to <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Rolls up the newspaper. I uh, know Olivia's trying to get me to smell some baby food, and I'm just not having that. Oh, not my stomach hurts. Smell baby food. Are you eating it? Huh? <laughs> no, you don't. I, I love how this is just evil music. I ate something. My stomach hurts. What? What the fuck did you eat? What? <laughs> it was the pickled radishes. <laughs> yes. Doctor, doctor. Baby food. Man. No. Baby bo food. Babingus no. food. All right, Chris, I'll smell the baby food. Just pass it to me real quick. A sealed letter. The sealed letter. Ah, oh, crap. It looks like Nanako's dead. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> that's got. That's gotta suck. He he needs like really important documents. The that that sealed letter will be explained later. But it's it, that's that's gotta suck. He's like shit. Here's Nanako. She's sick. And then I gotta take care of this thing. A few hours later. A few hours later. How is she? Oh, she's she just died, dude. She died like two minutes after you left. He's in a bad mood. It's late. Go to sleep. But Nanako, Nanako! Oh my God! 
could be legitimately dead. He's like, no, go to bed. You know what's funny? Uh, Dojima he's, was he's actually like considered to be a playable character in Persona 4 Arena with, like, Nanako yeah. as an assist. Yeah, he was going to be, like, in Persona, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking, by the way. <laughs> that was, no, like, heavily no, considered. No, he's just serious. That's fun. No, it's funny. He's just using his daughter to fight. He throws his daughter <laughs> at, like, Kanji or something. That's how they finally started bonding, like, when nice. I can use her as a weapon. Oh. You know, I would really love to see a new uh, Persona fighting game with the characters from 5. I would, too. Uh, you as a me costume in Smash Bros, right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, him, uh... Minato from Persona 3. He's the that that's the I will, protagonist. I, I oh, will say him. that Joker. I don't know anything about Joker. You is the one that I'm familiar with, but I will say Joker, uh, design wise, is a better choice than you. Yeah. For Smash Brothers, he he's he has a standout design. If I think if they would have announced you for Smash Bros, that would have like made people even angrier. Um, yeah. I think it, it would have been okay. Some people would say, like, he, he would have a boring move set, but... I feel like more people would probably prefer, like, Sad Tag. Sad people tag. want, like, a style of character. Persona 3, people just call him Sad Tag. We've been calling him Sad Tag as well. Oh, you mean Dorkun. Okay. Yeah. Minato, fucking... Uh, just... I mean, if, if you was actually a playable character, I don't think he would be too bad. He would... He would have, you know, his big ass bastard sword, but he could just. I don't think he would have like the same Arsene mechanics with Izanagi. He would not. He It'd be would not. more like electric shit, yeah. which in, would actually be really Bros. cool. In, in, in Smash Bros, does Palutena? Do they in Ultimate? Do they still have that thing where Palutena will like, if you play as Pit, Palutena will talk about one of the characters. Yes. That you're fighting. Yes. So, but they will not do now... that for DLC characters. Oh, okay, because I was, was going to ask, does she go like, hey, that's like, who is that? This is Steve from Minecraft. Yeah, unfortunately. Dude, I would have totally loved her to try to explain the whole like Persona Shin Megami Tensei lore. They only did that for Piranha Plant. They only talked about that for a DLC character, because I, th I think Piranha Plant was originally going to be in the base game, but they didn't have enough time. They didn't have enough time, no, that's correct. This is the luminary. He's a fucking idiot who doesn't know how to speak, but that's but people like him because they can say he's a silent protagonist and they can put themselves in there. Wow, his you shoes. really you really don't like Eleven, do you? I love Eleven. You that, know what I really that's his, love that, though? That's his name by the like his real name by the way. But... I, I I I know, I know. My right. game is named is Mackle, but No, you know what I really love about that? Is that we just assume that they would have chosen the protag from Eleven. <laughs> I mean, a, a lot of people thought it would, it would be Erdrick because of uh, what 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 is it? This <laughs> here here it is again. The um, the... he's probably the most popular character of that series, right? Who? Erdrick. Erdrick. Yeah. Yes, Erdrick is the most popular. Well, you can play as Erdrick though. Yeah. He's one yeah. Of like, but like as the the yeah, Erdrick... the the main That's... one. That's actually debatable. The most popular character, well, the most known is Erdrick, but the most popular is the bitch from five. What is that? Five? The Heavenly Wife. Really? Who? You talk about a. What's who, her, I, I want to say her name is like Gloria or something. No, he's he's the um, uh, Terry. No, not Terry. No, f fuck Terry. No. Um. <laughs> no. Um. The guy from the Jesus. fifth game. You know, the one that you, the one where you literally could have a kid. Oh, you talk about the the that wife, the blonde wife? Not her blonde? specifically. The main character of the game is like right. more known. Really? Amongst people, yeah, because that's that's considered as like the best Dragon Quest game. People will not shut the Chris. fuck up about that one. I... Chris Stewart. It's a dachi. Chris Stewart. Yo. Who did you marry in Dragon Quest Eleven? When you give him the choice to. What the hell's her name? I again? wanna know. Oh. I think me and you did the same one story. Gemma? Yeah. Crumbs! Oh, that, made the, that made the most sense. I love I love what I, I watched all the cutscenes and I, Jade Jade's a good 
Jade make. I get why people pick Jade and Serena. I think that picking Veronica and Robert is fucking weird, but the rest of them are fine. If um, I could, if I could honestly, and if it was an actual <laughs> marriage thing, it would be Silvando. But like, mm -hmm. Gemma's the only one you can marry. Gemma's the only one you can marry. Um, I know. I'm just saying, you know, like. They, like, okay, so, like, with Jade, I watched all, Gemma's the one I picked, but Jade and Serena, there's, like, a huge romance implication there with those two. I like um, it. Picking Robert and Veronica, those cutscenes are interesting to watch. They're very weird. Um, and then, uh, Silvando and Eric, it's, like, less suggestive with the romance, but it's still there a little bit. I don't know. Silvando's gonna... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's... It's still there with Savando and Eric. There, it's a little, it's a little erotic, but it, they, they tone it down a little bit. They're not like holding hands or like leaning against each other or anything. You would honestly think that they would have gone hard with Savando. Robert asks you, um, asks you to look at porn with him, and then he has to, you look at porn with Robert, and then he asks you to call him grandpa. It's fucking weird. It's like, like when you look at, at that because you think it's gonna be mayor. I. I Oh, I love I love what happens with Hendrick too. Actually, if you pick Hendrick, it's like because Gemma's the only one that it's a marriage with. The rest of them, it's just like friendship, basically, kind of implied romance with Jade and Serena. But the rest of them, it's just friendship. Uh, but like, uh... <laughs> what was I about to say? But when I first saw that, I was like, I thought it was only marriage. And when Robert was an option, I was like, really? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> you can marry your grandpa if you want to. What the fuck? That's kind of like some Fire Emblem shit, though. Oh. <laughs> but then, then it just turns out that, like, Gemma, Gemma's the only marriage option, and then Jade and Veronica are the only, like, romance options. You know, you know I don't... They don't... Know, they don't, they don't but... Veronica is weird, but they don't go a romance route you know, with I don't, it. I don't know if this is spoilers or not, but I'm going to say it anyways. I love the romance options in Persona 5 versus 4. Where, like, in 5, they're like, we'll see how this works. We'll make this work. 4, they're like, bye. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, yeah. I mean, in, like, 4, there's certain events where it's like, hey, it's it's Christmas time. And they're in their, uh, what, what is it, <laughs> a, a Yukato? That's cute. Hey, Valentine's wait. Day. Yeah, I mean, it's all they're all great romances. It's just at the end of the game, they're like, "See ya, <laughs> bye, get out of here." And at five, I, and at five, they're like, I, "We'll make this work long distance. I promise. We'll see you again." And then four is like, "Nah, fuck it, bye." So, so me and Zach have a bit of a, a conflict when it comes to picking Gemma in Dragon Quest Eleven, but I will say this: I think. Because his argument makes sense. His argument's that you don't spend any time with Gemma in the game. Like, you spend the tutorial with her, and that's it. But I think picking her actually adds to her story. It makes her more part of the story. You grew up with her. Yeah, she's your, she's your childhood friend. And that scene, I think picking her, honest, out of all, I, I, I picked her, and then I watched all the cutscenes online. Hers is my favorite one. It's such a sweet moment. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, actually, it was, it was the intentional one because apparently picking the others is something that was like made in like the later version of the game. It wasn't in the old versions. Oh yeah, so I Gemma, forgot. There was a there was originally a Dragon Quest Eleven, just original Eleven, and then they decided, you know what? Let's make S. Let's make well, S. Thank, thank God, because the music in the old one was fucking stupid outside of Japan. It's really yeah, funny I... about that whole thing is that Nintendo fucked it up, actually. Did they? I thought they saved yeah. it. No, original. No, no. What originally was supposed to happen is Dragon Quest was supposed. They made a giant collection where you were able to buy the PS4, uh, <clears throat> Switch, like PS4, Wii U, and DS version. It was a collection where you could have all the games, and then Nintendo's like, "We're releasing a Switch," and then they're like. Not Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, there's so. also Dragon Quest XI on 3DS, but it's in Japan yeah. only. Oh, I have that. Yeah, I saw footage from that, and it looks a little weird. It's like the it's... obviously it's like like the graphics are kind of downgraded for the 3DS, but I mean it has to be. <laughs> I no, yeah, no, no. Honest to God, if more people get to enjoy the game, then, then I don't care. But I think the 3DS version is I I haven't 
done everything in S, but I really wish that they brought some things over from the 3DS version. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom again. It's Marie. I originally was just going to go for a uh, dice game, but let's, let's do Marie. Do I have Aeon with me? There we go. Uh, what? Huh? Alright. Let's add a two. Do it. More poetry. Let's yeah, go. unfortunately, I... Uh, it's June. I can obviously max her out before it's too late. Too late. But you said you can you can't? I can. I just, like, I forgot that in order to get her, you have to literally click check on dwellers. Oh. I thought it was just, like, a, a random thing if you went into the Velvet Room. Weird. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I swear, Margaret, it, it happened with me, too. I randomly went in there, and, and like, Margaret's thing happened. But Margaret's I guess, weird. But I guess you not. I, I guess I'm supposed to max out... Of knowledge or some shit? Or you're supposed to? I shit. have no idea. I, it's legit, like Probably. bugging me because, like, because that just that just basically means that I I shouldn't really use any like priestess personas because if I just fuse them, I'm not gonna level them up if I fuse them. So, so it's like, well, who cares? Real talk. The thing is that what I did is that I just kind of said screw everybody. And uh, stuck with uh, a Chie, maxed out everything, and then replayed the game. <laughs> I mean, we don't have time uh, for that, but. So, um, Stuart. What's up? I know you're going to want to wrap up soon because it's nine. Yeah. Um, but would you be down to do one more thing before we end tonight? Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, put, watch the newer Childverse video on recording. Okay. Just stream what, it for us. That? Uh, it's the Life of Rich episode three. Episode three. It's just the most recent upload. I want to watch it. Occasionally, me and Store Envies like watching a YouTube video, and we've we've covered Rich Alvarez in the past. We watched his Star Wars a Bridge series. I'm sorry, he did what now? You remember? You remember Star Wars a Bridge, right? No. It was only two episodes, and he stopped it. It was like an animation. It's funny, because I'm actually kind of friends with him, and I don't know the stuff he does. I like Richie. I just think it's fun to watch his stuff. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, that, that tells you how bad of a friend I am. I bet you would remember it. I, 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 hmm, I feel like me and you talked about before. Hi, Madison. Oh. I think I've She's said like... something about it. I just don't remember he actually doing it. She's, like, rubbing her paw on me, demanding to be put. All right, so uh, Chie and Yukiko are called Green Girl and Red Girl by Mari. So Green Girl and Red Girl. So Coming what they're gonna to... do is uh, they're gonna go clothes shopping to to buy new clothes so that they can no longer be called Green Girl and Red Girl. I mean, all Marie has to do is continue to call them that anyway. Oh, hi, Madison. You don't like that you're not being scratched. <laughs> <sighs> She's a good kitty. He's a good. I keep calling her, calling him a she because, just because of the name, I'm still not like used to that. Even though I'm the one who said that Come earlier. On. Don't you think this is a good color, Marie? <laughs> Chie's holding a green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. That's green, you know. Yeah, it's green. Green girl. What's your favorite color, Michael? Uh, probably blue. It's a good color. What about you, Chris? Interesting. Riveting stuff. Yukiko has a crimson skirt in her hands. Chris! <laughs> it's eye-catching. Chris. Chris hates us. Chris. 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 Chris, why? It was just a letter, Chris! It was a letter in the alphabet, Chris! 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 Chris, Marie, Marie! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Yeah. They're just buying some How's clothes right here. Uh, Hello. Cool. Hello. Am I? Am I back? <laughs> I guess. Hey, Chris. What's up? Not much. My my computer decided to uh, say that my microphone is not valid, so it disconnected me. Interesting. <laughs> so uh, I finally die or what's up? I died. Okay. That's what happened. <laughs> Madison respects me less now. Huh? Really? Friend? <laughs> We're friends? <laughs> I love Marie. She's so cute. Aww. Marie's, Marie's Aww. like the only actual romance option. Fight me. And then, and then, and then sh say that again. Marie is like the only actual romance option. Fight me. That's true. And then, and then she is like, the... "Was I bothering you today?" Aw. Yeah. No. Marie's the only one that actually says that she loves you in the game. So. Yeah, that's true. So take that. Are you trying to like personally attack me? Or so? I don't care. She's, <laughs> she's adorable as well. Oh, I'm not. I am not attacking you in any way. I have no clue who your waifu is. So. I would say My technically, I would say technically all of them, but Teddy, Teddy, waifu. I'm talking about, mm. I'm talking about out of like all the romance options. Teddy has been the only viable option for me so far. Although and Teddy, I, don't, I mean, and Teddy, only Teddy. as a fair, because I think that Teddy, I mean, Store, Store already confirmed that Teddy becomes a human at one point when I asked him about it. Uh, Did I? So only, yeah, because I, because I saw pictures online and I asked you like, hey, is that like real? And you said, yeah. There's a DVD she wanted. I don't mind, like, honest to God, when it comes to watching you play a game, I don't really mind having spoilers for the story. I I will, I understand why you don't want me to have them, because it's, like, fun to see me react to certain things. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not actively, I'm not actively looking for spoilers, just for the record. There's just a couple things I found by accident while editing. <sighs> I will. I will try to avoid any further spoilers. So that to means I'm fair... gonna be back on. So I'll see you next time. <laughs> to be to be fair, I do not think that uh, since we last talked about it, that I've like been covered anymore. See. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty excited to see Michael's reaction to the whole Teddy thing. Yeah, me too. Welcome back. That, 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 was, like, reaction to that. that was legit cool. I can work as like a that, that was one of my favorite parts in the game. It's a cool it was a cool moment. It was a cool moment. Like um, you know, it's it's really funny because uh it's it's great to not be spoiled with certain things in games. You know, because like uh when I was telling Michael about Final Fantasy, everyone talks about the one spoiler. Yeah, I, I there is one big spoiler I have for Final Fantasy VII that just comes with the game being popular for so long. They even promote and it. I I honestly feel like that that is not even the biggest hmm. spoiler that Seven has. Yeah. Okay. So the spoiler that I know, I will say off recording, but um, yeah, I won't say anything else because I don't. I've already said enough about Dragon Quest XI during this. I don't want to keep censoring I, myself. Michael, I we're really gonna don't... go watch a video now, aren't we? This is great. Right up. Oh wow, that's a that's an Easter egg. Dizella. Face the Sith, bro, and when I'm like Qui Gon. Oh, it's Chris. Uh... The other Chris. Blood vessel in my eye. Oh my God. Ow. Oh wow, I can see the blood vessel. Good, good work, Richie. Good. I feel like what 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 Richie's doing right now is literally me when I get up for work. Cause remind you, I go I clock in at work at like three thirty a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just like go through my messages and just re respond. Have you seen episode two of the show yet? Store? No. Okay. I mean, and you watched episode one together. Hey, Rich, it's Scott. Uh, hey, Scott. Oh, it's got Masterson. Why is, it's just a picture, though. Why is it not a video of him? I teach high school. So, oh, okay. No. Right. Hey, how come when He's I a high school Chris, teacher? It's a video, but when I'm talking to you, it's just a picture. You don't pay oh, it's self-aware. <laughs> <laughs> Title screen, please. That's funny.
What? Is that supposed to be Chris? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I wish! <laughs> you sure it's just Richie filming shit around his house? It probably is. Oh. Mm. Okay, so it's- okay, I get it. It's being very meta. It's that's meta. A, that's the name of the episode. That's a huge poster of Watchmen. Oh man, what is- I keep forgetting that one- Wait, well, what is- what is that? Is that shit on the stairs? What? You're talking about the cat? That's mean, Stuart. No! The, dude, it's gone now! <laughs> I didn't see it before, so I think you were just being an asshole. It talks. I wish the cat didn't talk. Why are all the female characters in the show, except Jackie, like, evil? <laughs> why, is that why is that the approach? They're just like, either, either you're Jackie or you're fucking nuts. Maybe, maybe Richie's trying to tell us something. That yeah, every probably. woman in this world is evil. <gasps> oh, it's, it's the hat! It's the Mario hat! Oh my god! Oh! 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 Mario! Oh, it's gone, okay. <laughs> is that God? She zoomed in. I mean, I can't see it, so... Wait, wait, that's crazy. This cat likes belly rubs. It's a weird thing because most cats hate that and will attack you if you do yes, it. Do. Mr. Alvarez, you're going to help us whether you want to or not. <laughs> Just the idea of someone That's saying crazy. that to Richie. Richie getting like tied up in something really bad is very funny to me. He gets taken away. <laughs> so, so is season two gonna get like a serious plot? Of, like, Hopefully. They get beam Hopefully. swords. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it just ends with Richie, like he runs into like he gets into a fight with someone and they take off the mask and like, hello, Mario. And it's revealed Richie was Mario the whole time and changed his name to Richie. God damn it! <laughs> and it's a continuation of like this. I had actually watched that. Well, it's, it's plausible because Legacy ends. With them saying that they're just gonna live life and not be Mario and Luigi anymore, so they maybe they change the names to Richie and Chris and Jackie. This is a cool Super Mario Bros. Fucking in right now. See, Michael, we are the problem. We are literally yeah. the problem. This is, this is why he comes back to Mario. They did the show him Super Mario Bros. because they badmouthed Carl Jr. and then they did a text on the screen saying we actually like Carl Jr. Now they're doing it again in this with Monty Python. Is he checking if he's alive or not? I think he's dead. Definitely not dead. Okay. So I like, don't want to be weird. But there's like a lot of white people in Richie shows. Well, you should be in it, Chris. Go over and say, hey, Richie, bitch, put me in the show or else I'm going to oh, fucking do the dance. You know, I, I've, also noticed dance. That, I've also noticed that there's a lot of human beings on this show. This is uh, getting really fucking racist. I don't like that glass of water. I mean... This is pretty fucking bad. I need to yeah, know the race, right. gender, and sex of every one of these characters right now, or else I'm going to feel offended. I don't feel represented I'm not saying, at all. I'm not saying that Richie needs that representation. I'm just saying it's just kind of weird. Whoa, the episode just ended. <gasps> Dude, it's Mario right there. Oh, I see it. Oh. I see it. Oh. Oh.